Welcome to Enhanced Network Communication Online Tutorials. This next tutorial will cover the MBX NetSet for your 3Com business phone, voicemail options. The NetSet is a web-based portal that enables you to view and edit settings on your phone. In order to reach the NetSet, you will first have to have the IP address of the MBX system that your phone is connected to. This can be given to you by the system administrator. Just enter the IP address into your web browser and it will take you to the login screen located here. Your username will be your extension number and your password is a password you generated when you set up your voicemail account. If you have not yet set up your voicemail account, please see the tutorial on setting up your voicemail before continuing on. After you log in, you will see a list of topics on the left hand side. We will be covering the voicemail portion of this list. Take some time to explore these options and become familiar with them. You will also notice the help button in the blue box towards the center of the page near the top. This will enable you to search and view all available help topics regarding the net set. The first screen we will discuss will be the message screen. Here you will find all of your voicemails. You can play or delete your messages here. Make sure you have headphones as the messages will be played through your computer sound system. You can also view information about the message here, such as time, date, length of message, and where it came from. If you receive a lot of voicemails, this option may be beneficial to you as it allows you to quickly see and access your voicemails. Just under the My Messages topic on the left, you will see MBX voicemail settings. These are your own personal settings for your voicemail. By clicking on this, you will be able to select whether you would like to be notified of any voicemails as you receive them, or only be notified if a voicemail is marked urgent. To do this, you would select one of the options at the top under Off-Site Notification Settings, located here. You may also select the Disable Off-Site Notification to turn this feature off. If you would like to be notified of any urgent voicemails coming in, you would select Enable Off-Site Notification for Urgent Messages Only. Now we must choose how we would like to be notified. You have three types of methods located here, Pager, Voicemail, or Email. You may add each on a separate line or just add a single method. The next two columns are for the information. For example, if I chose to receive an email whenever an urgent message came in, I would select email here, and over here I would put in my email address that I would like the notification to go. When you are done, push the apply button here for the new settings to take effect. Next, we'll go over your personal greeting. If you look up here at the top of the screen, you will see a tab marked Personal Greeting. Clicking this will take you to where all of your voicemail greetings are located. You can have up to five greetings recorded, but only one may be active at any given time. This is useful if you have a set time you're in another area, or unavailable but would like to notify incoming callers. You can check which greeting you would like and use the buttons on the bottom to either make it active or remove it from the list. Notice the box marked Greeting Only Mailbox, located here. Checking this box prevents any caller from leaving a voicemail on your phone, but they will still hear the greeting. The other two tabs are for your voicemail groups. If your administrator has set up any for you, they will be located here. If you need additional sales or support, please call Enhanced Network Communication at one 888 863-8266. If you do not have an active maintenance contract with us, we can provide you with that information also.